all set up here in the blind. I drove about an hour and 20 minutes this morning to get to where I'm at. And uh, it was an early morning, but I hope it's gonna be worth it. I've got birds gobbling behind me. And I got birds gobbling in front of me. I'm about, I don't know, 150, 200 yards off the roost in front of me and a solid 250, 300 yards off the roost behind me. So I'm hoping I'm in transition area where maybe these two groups of birds might meet up because they're gobbling at each other. Ultimately play out to be a good situation. I'm hoping it happens this morning, guys. It's beautiful morning, fog everywhere. Um, I'm gonna wait it out this morning. I'm gonna sit late, because I think with this fog, they're gonna be gobbling late, late into the morning, trying to find each other and just move around. So, like I said, I hope I'm in a transition area. I've seen turkeys work through here before, so crossing my fingers, guys, it should be good. Well, guys, it's uh, 9.30, 9.45, somewhere right in there. I haven't heard a single gobble for the last hour and a half. All the gobbling was happening when they were in the roost, and then right when they flew down, they started gobbling pretty good, um, responding a little bit to my calls. I just kind of kept it light, didn't call too much, but they uh, kind of just went silent, and, you know, a half hour would go by and I'd hear a gobble. 15 minutes would go by I'd hear a gobble and they kept kind of getting further and further away. Well, uh, like I say, I haven't heard a gobble for the last hour and a half, which makes it tough. Um, the last gobble that I did hear was far, far off in the distance. So it sounds like the birds kind of just have worked away from this spot and uh, kind of went down into the thick timber, honestly. So I think I'm gonna pack things up, head back to the car, and um, try to tackle some midday birds on some other properties, kind of move in, get into some timber line, and uh, just start calling and see if I can get something pulled out, or if I can get like that midday or late morning gobble to fire off this spot for now. I might come back this evening to hunt this spot, try to catch these birds coming back to the roost, but, um, Aside from that, I think I'm gonna pack up and go try a few other spots. Um, there's some public land down the road that I wanna try and see if I can, like I say, strike up a bird kind of that late morning. And uh, hopefully we can get on something that way, but uh, fun morning nonetheless. I mean, there's birds gobbling all around me. Uh, it's just how it goes. It's not always guaranteed when you've got birds <clears throat> roosted. It's not always roasted. That's kind of the saying is you get them roosted, they're roasted, but it's not always true. Sometimes they fly down and just do their own thing, especially this time of year when they're hinned up. Man, they're going to do whatever those hens are doing. So, um, anyway, we're going to get packed up, head back to the car, Let's see what happens. I'm set up on this piece of public ground, and I've got a hen talking, I'm trying to talk back and forth with me. She's only. I don't know, maybe 90 or 100 yards away. I bumped a hen on my way in as well. So, who knows where she went, but I've got another hen talking with me. I've got a bird goblin right up the hill. He's a long ways off, but I can hear him goblin. And there's another bird that's just back behind this hen, about 200 yards. So hopefully I can bring one of those birds in. I'd like to bring the hen into the decoys. Because right now these toms are so hinned up. If I can get a hen to come in, I might be able to get a tom to follow her. So that's the hope. We're just going to sit it, wait it out, see if we can get something to come in. This bird's coming closer. He's just right on the inside of this tree line. This crow keeps hollering above me, and he's just gobbling closer and closer and closer. So. Here we go.
How about that, boys? <laughs> I couldn't pass that up. Came in right to the decoy, got all confident. This property, this is a piece of public ground that I know very well, and it gets overran during turkey season. To even get a bird on this property is a miracle. And when I heard that bird goblin, he came off the private side and worked all the way down this edge of the public. And uh, I just told myself, if that thing's gonna come into these decoys, it's getting an arrow. Cause I got three tags in Nebraska and I wanna smoke some turkey breast on the Traeger. These broadheads are my absolute favorite turkey head. As you can see, what it did to this bird was just ridiculous. Stopped him in his tracks. This is a four blade Grim Reaper Carnivore. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that thing is nasty. And it does work on turkey. How about that? Mm, mm. Let's go! What a pretty bird. This thing came in and put on a show. Heck yeah. Getting things done. Holy cow, that was fun. And I was right back here in the woods. I was just all camoed up in my uh, Realtree camo. This is the King's Camo XKG series. I had everything on. I had my neck gaiter, everything. I was just set up right here. And as you could tell, I had that third person angle with my cell phone down here on the ground. I was just set up looking straight through here, just like that. He came in, put on a show, and everything about that scenario fired me up. That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was fun. Heck yeah. All right guys, we got some quick photos done. I got Mr. Bird. We're hiking back to the truck, or the car, the Cavalier. We're hiking back to the Cavalier, the turkey slaying machine. What a fun hunt, that was awesome. I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty blessed. Get to have some fresh wild turkey for the Traeger tonight. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. I know I really enjoyed making it. I really, really enjoy getting out and hunting these birds. Man, everything just worked out. It was a perfect scenario. I'm freaking pumped. Anyway guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.